Pep Off designed the Forensic Games as an international competition in which prosecutors, human rights defenders, and police investigators could learn the basic principles of forensic investigations into human rights crimes and then compete to demonstrate their mastery of the material. Through its international training projects, EPAF trains people all across the world in forensic investigations, and the idea was to bring them all together and connect them through the forensic games. The course itself includes five lessons, each of which correspond to one of the steps in the forensic investigation process. And each of these lessons ends with a scored exercise that centers around a simulated investigation that the students must conduct on a game board. In order to be successful and get a good score, the students have to conduct a preliminary investigation of their case, then document and recover all of the evidence from the crime scene, analyze that evidence, and then interpret it by making valid inferences about the crime. They are connected or not connected? And we cannot say they are connected to the rebels are not connected. The results that we have seen with the forensic games have really been spectacular because it's a very dynamic way to teach the material. From the very first lesson, it puts the students in the role of investigators and it makes them really engage with the material and apply their learning in a very tangible way. The competition serves as a great motivator for everyone to do their best and try to get a top score. People obviously want to make sure that their team does well, but they also have the added motivation of trying to make sure that their country is well represented within the competition. At the end of the day, the students learn a great deal about forensic investigations, and the scores that they get in the forensic games reflect that. But they also have a lot of fun, too.